Why I Want is back, everybody. It's Saturday morning, which means it's time to talk about the prospects heading into the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. Last week, we took a look at the first guy outside of that main group that everybody talks about of Bedard, Mishkov, and Fantilli. We made a video talking about fourth overall projected, or maybe even third overall in some people's eyes, Leo Carlson. And that was received very well. Thank you for all the comments and the support. Let's try to keep it up for this video here as we are continuing talking about guys who are probably going to be taken at or near the top of the draft. We're going to talk more so about mid-round guys a little bit later into the series, but for now, let's stick around in the top 10 and go over a guy that is definitely, most definitely, going to be selected in that range. Let's head over to the Winnipeg Ice in the WHL and talk about 17-year-old forward Zach Benson. Now, Benson is a name that you might have seen creeping up here and there when looking at the WHL and its point scores. This is because Benson, as a 2005 May 12th born, 17-year-old forward, 5'10", 159 pounds, a left-handed guy who plays primarily on the wing and at center, he plays both pretty well, he's got himself, at the time of recording this audio, 85 points in 52 games played with the Winnipeg Ice. 110 points is his projection here, and... If you look at the WHL's point production in general, Benson is number two, right there behind Connor Bedard, who has nine fewer games played, but he's got, what is that, 25 more points? Yeah, Connor Bedard is a good player, we don't really need to talk about that anymore, but for Zach Benson, he's a player that is right up there too, and despite being a draft-eligible player, he is still one of the top names too. His play this season has been so impressive that he's a consolidated ranking number five on Elite Prospects' consolidated list. He's also ranked number five straight up by Elite Prospects. Future Considerations, Daily Faceoff, Bob McKenzie, they also have him at five. And then you have some outlets that are a little higher and some that are a little lower too. The Hockey News has him at number nine, as does Craig Button. Sportsnet has him at number six, but Recruit Scouting has him at number four. Smart Scouting also has him at number four. So for all intents and purposes, we're going to go out there and say that Zach Benson is going to be a top 10 guy, who, if you're taking him, let's say, 7th, maybe 8th overall, you might be getting a guy that's probably a bit better than that. Now, why is that? Well, Zach Benson is a center left winger that plays in the WHL that has such a great understanding of the game and a really high motor to boot. He's not going to be the guy that's necessarily going to score the most amount of points. In fact, there may be a few guys taken after Zach Benson that might finish off their NHL careers with more points at the end of the day. But Zach Benson has such a great hockey mind that the reasoning and the understanding as to why he does things on the ice is just one of the most refined traits that we have seen in a prospect in a very long time. Plus, when it comes to his motor, he is always buzzing out there. He's always going. He is arguably the hardest worker in this draft class. To give us some help, we're going over onto MyNHLDraft.com and taking a look at what a multitude of NHL scouts have to say about Benson. Tony Ferrari said this back on the Hockey News on December 19th, Benson is manipulative, intelligent, and lethal with the puck on his stick. His playmaking ability is slick and precise, fitting passes through lanes as they develop. Sam Constantino says that he is a play driver who handles the puck with quick hands. He's surprisingly adept, too, at protecting the puck based on his slight frame. Matthew Soma of Smart Scouting said that despite his average skating, we feel that Benson's work ethic and skill outweigh the risk and that he can develop that aspect of his game. You can't teach work ethic, and you can't teach a player to be as smart as Benson is. Corey Pronon of The Athletic said this, He's got a ton of skill and creativity, being a true offensive threat anytime he's near the puck in the offensive zone. Benson lacks the ideal size at 5'9", but he plays hard, gets his nose dirty, and wins more battles than you would expect. And finally, you have yourself Scott Wheeler of The Athletic who said this, Benson is a multi-dimensional forward who has quick acceleration, though he's not explosive, can handle the puck at speeds and change tempos and control, can shape play by opening up his hips to go heel to heel, thrives in traffic, is a dual shot pass threat, plays one step ahead of the game in possession, supports the play effectively, problem solves as well as anyone in this draft class, works hard off the puck to keep his energy up, and sets the pace for his line, whether by picking it up or slowing it down to use his creativity. 
And there's a reason why I saved that report to the end, because it was written like that in chronological order, but also because this is the most descriptive and, dare I say, encapsulating piece that talks about what Benson is as a hockey player. He is not the fastest guy out there, not the most explosive guy, but when it comes to how he reads the game and his energy levels, he is always near the top, if not at the very top. In fact, going over onto the SMOT scouting report that is also going to be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and read this, the SMOT scouting folks said that Zach Benson strives when his team is on offense, and in terms of forwards in this entire 2023 draft class, no one thinks the game with and without the puck better than Zach Benson. Now, Lego, what about Connor Bedard? Connor Bedard's out there, man. And yes, you could definitely go out there and say that Connor Bedard has more points. Therefore, how can you say that Zach Benson thinks the game better? Well, Zach Benson doesn't have the dangles that Connor Bedard has. He doesn't have the foot speed that Connor Bedard has. And he doesn't have, dare I say, that activation ability that Connor Bedard has. You know, it's easy to go out there and say that a guy is skilled and he can read the play and he can do this, he can do that. But Connor Bedard just has this strange ability to take over whatever it is whenever he wants. And unfortunately, there are only so few players of the sport in the world that have that same quality. Zach Benson just happens to not have that. He makes up for this lack of foot speed and maybe inadequacy dangling compared to Connor Bedard by just being such a smart hockey player along the boards, along the perimeter, and being such a safe option off the puck that you can be super confident whenever he's out there and he let's say, is in the defensive zone because you know he's going to make the right play 99% of the time. His understanding of how hockey works is just so pinnacle. And hey, who's to say that being the second overall guy in WHL scoring is a bad thing? This is a very good prospect that you're really just trying to focus on the nitty gritty details to really iron out where he should go, whether it's top five or top six, top six or top seven. He's going to be a top 10 talent and any team that takes him is getting a very versatile and very reliable all situations kind of forward that contributes offensively with his hockey mind, his smarts, and his unrelenting work ethic. In fact, if you go over to that same smart scouting report that we had just looked at, there's a comparison made here for Braden Point. This piece of the article talks about his projection. While thinking of a player comparison, I get drawn to a few different players. From an offensive skill standpoint, I personally see a lot of similar traits to Cole Perfetti. Great vision, feet always moving, and just very technically sound to every movement. Benson has a motor on him, though, that just never stops running. And to me, it's very similar to watching Braden Point roam around. There just seems to always be a certain intensity when both of them are on the ice and hunting down pucks. Both are great at carving out pockets of space and tremendous at distributing or finishing plays themselves. You also had yourselves the last word on sports article that says that this NHL comparison that they're writing out is Braden Point. They have very similar skating tendencies and styles. When carrying the puck up ice to transition, they look identical. Point has more skill in terms of stick handling and, as of right now, is a better skater, but Benson attacks through the neutral zone very similarly. Offensively and defensively, neither turns the puck over much, and both are mostly smart. But both can turn up the heat and pressure the opposition. This article in LastWordOnSports.com says that ultimately, Benson has the potential to become an elite NHL player down the line, but his well-balanced play makes him a safer bet than most. And this is really what you're looking for here with this player. Even if you get yourselves a guy that maybe only maxes out with 60 points on a season, you are at the very least getting a super reliable, very strong-willed and strong-minded forward that thinks the game properly and that you can place in all situations. Now, 60 points I feel like is a really low bar to set for this guy. I feel like if you wanted to expand so much on that offense and you wanted to try to project a ceiling, I'm feeling if Zach Benson gets maybe 80 to 90 points as an NHL player in his prime, I wouldn't really be all too surprised. And if he's able to take his acceleration and overall speed to the next level, then he could be even further up there. He's already very good at winning board battles, forcing play into the middle from the outside, and when he doesn't have the puck, he's able to slip himself in the scoring areas very nicely as well, that you're really looking at maybe the best of all three worlds of a guy like Braden Point, who's got that work ethic and that skill, maybe a player with the same sort of board play and down low gritty play as Zach Hyman, and dare I say, the work ethic of let's throw out a Brendan Gallagher's name, for example, just because he's also small. 
So that is the why I want video on Zach Benson. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to what your opinions are on this player. I'll leave a link in the description to the Smot Scouting article, to the Last Word on Sports article, to the My NHL Draft article as well, going all over this guy and his individual traits. If you wanted to see some more, then the links are in the description. It's a very good read, by the way. All three of these articles are. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to Zach Benson and his draft stock. Where do you think he's going to be drafted? If you're a fan of any of these teams in the top 10, do you want to take Benson in your draft slot? Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.